when you learn to reproduce your fertility instead of buying it, your profit potential increases exponentially. One of the most important things we can do when we plant a seed is to begin that relationship of biology with that seedling as it begins to grow and develop. We produce a seed treatment product that contains foliar microboost. These are trace elements. These are enzyme activators. And the presence of these trace elements is also a natural fungicide. We have a product included called FLC, which is a fermented biological formulation that stimulates microbial growth. Bio-release is a mineral stabilizer. This breaks the bonds of soil minerals so that it creates available mineral nutrition for that seedling as it grows. Molybdenum. You have to have molybdenum. It is the enzyme activator for your rhizobium and your azotobacter for it to fix atmospheric nitrogen. And the plant, as it alters nitrogen compounds, needs molybdenum in its enzymatic processes in the construction of elemental nitrogen into amino acids, into peptides, into proteins. The soil microorganisms, we call soil biology boost, there's 13 or more groups of microorganisms, and these include azotobacter, mycorrhizal, trichodermis, bacillus, pseudomonas, Bavaria bassiana can be added for insect control. And then we have over 75 micronized trace elements, and these are enzyme activators for both the microbes and the plant. And this can come from a type of soft rock phosphate that we micronize. It can also be used as a flow agent and additional nutrients. How Soluplex or BioRelease works is it donates charges, and so when it's applied to the soil, it helps increase mineral solubility. So we have some soil tests here from Iowa and other states. And so we did lab samples on just water soluble nutrients in a soil. Okay, this isn't with an extract, this is just water solubility. And so you can go across and look at the mineral on top and then look at the water solubility level. Well, let's just look at potassium. Water soluble 5.5. With a half a gallon of BioRelease or Soluplex, which is the organic version, that potassium increases from 5 to 69. With a gallon, it increases to 168. Again, this is a very weak organic biological acid component, pH of about 6, that donates charges that then allow other minerals to release and come into nutrition and plant available form. And this soluplex and bio-release will last for several months in the soil after it's applied. You can look at phosphate. It goes from 0.3 to almost 4 to almost 10 with one gallon. And this happens with all the minerals across the board. So we're not only stimulating the biology with these excess minerals, now the plant is able to take these up at a time when it's not able to extract its own nutrition. Soil reports from Kansas, Illinois, and Utah show the same pattern. Different soils release at different rates. And so it typically is very uniform. There's an increase of mineral depending on what mineral it is. If it's a single charge, double charge, or triple charge, you can see the rate of solubility increase. This is a average normal crop of sunflowers near Billings, Montana. This is typically what this Hutterite colony has grown for 20 years. This is an average 500 pound an acre sunflower crop. This is the co-op locally that provided 
the 1152 and urea as the base of its fertility program. And this is the plant response. 150 feet away in the same field, planted with the same seed on the same date, we did two things. We seed treated the sunflowers with our seed treatment. The second thing that we did was we stabilized their 1034 with bio-release. And what that did, two things. It neutralized the three negative charges on the phosphate so that it wouldn't tie up when it went into the soil. It remained available for month after month after month. And the second thing is, is it chelates the salt. So the salt effect isn't damaging to the seed or germination. This is a dry land farm of about 15,000 acres. So it's the same rainfall, same field, same year, same seed, different fertility. We used less fertilizer and we use the seed treatment. And this is a 2,000 pound per acre response. It's 400% increase just by bringing in the microorganisms and stabilizing the phosphate, solubilizing soil minerals. This picture was done in 2018. They repeated the process again in 2019. These are pictures of barley seed that Ed sent to me from another colony near Great Falls of the germination rate of his treated barley seed, one with just water and one with the soil biology boost on it after 72 hours. Another colony just down the road, Elk Creek Colony, sent me pictures of their wheat, one seed treated and one not seed treated. This is another colony of a barley crop where half of the field was planted with the seed treatment, microbes, biology, and less fertilizer. The other side is an all fertilizer program from the local co-op. This is as we approach late summer, and you can see the fertilizer side is drying down and dying. The biological side is still green and still growing. These are pictures of wheat head sent in from a farm and he just compared the fertilizer side to the biological and mineral side that use less fertilizer. While in Minnesota I took these pictures of a soybean field. There was a chemical side, a transition between the chemical and the biological side and the biological side of the soybean field. Now this was all the same field. If you look at the clouds and the radio tower in the background, you can tell it's the same field, same day, same guy. Yet look at the plant response on the biological side of the soybean field versus the chemical side. In Northern Utah, a farmer brought in these pictures and he was doing trials on different fields. And so he'd plant one planter band of grain treated with the seed treatment and the next one not. And so he went back and forth on these three farms. And he said, this just created a nightmare at harvest time because part of the field was way ahead of the other side of the field and the crops didn't mature at the same time. But you can see the response between the treated wheat and the untreated plants. This was a cornfield in northern Utah taken in 2012. The corn was 15 and a half feet tall, averaged over 35 ton to the acre. And this again was a biological program with stabilized phosphate. All of the neighboring fields were corn were in the eight to 10 foot tall range. 
I had been working with Ted in Alliance, Nebraska for four years attempting to reach 10 ton per acre of alfalfa production. In 2014, on a new planting, we used the biominerals seed treatment on his alfalfa seed. Treating alfalfa, we do it only once at the beginning when it is planted. And so this works out to be less than $2 a year for the seed treatment. The germination was incredibly good. You had a beautiful stand of alfalfa coming. It was very thick, very healthy. And the first year of its planting in 2014, Ted got four cuttings. It was in 2015 that Ted produced over 10 ton per acre off of four cuttings on this pivot. This was primarily due to the seed treatment that we provide and also the microbial mineral tea put out through the pivot. As a vital part of the biominerals seed treatment, we have six strains of mycorrhizal fungi for colonizing the root system. In normal mycorrhizal colonization, it takes anywhere from three to six weeks, depending on soil conditions, for mycorrhizal to colonize in a new root system. Because the seed has to germinate, the plant has to grow, it has to produce chlorophyll and sugars, and then it begins to put root exudates out, which activates the mycorrhizal spores. And some considerable time after planting, you get mycorrhizal colonization. However, as part of our seed treatment, we put in the activating nutrient source for the mycorrhizal. Here you can see two corn seeds. One germinated seven days without the seed treatment. The other one in seven days had a much better root system with visible mycorrhizal colonization because we were able to activate the mycorrhizal and have it begin at the same time germination began with the seed. As a close-up, you can get a much better look at that mycorrhizal colonization and the hyphae, the mycorrhizal filaments that come out and dramatically increase the nutrient gathering capacity of soil minerals, specifically phosphate, that make it much more available to the plant much earlier on. Again, under higher magnification, you can see the intense colonization off of the root of these mycorrhizal fungi. This was an incredibly fun experiment because it allowed us to see that early and critical mycorrhizal colonization that helps these plants establish and get nutrients much quicker. That activating nutrient is a vital part of getting these mycorrhizal growing and colonizing as the seed germinates and begins its life. In 2013, the biominerals seed treatment was provided to a large seed dealer in the Midwest. They set up a test where five fields were treated and five fields were not treated using the same seed in the same area planted at the same time. What they reported to us at the end of the season was the surviving plant population and the bushels per acre, both on the treated and the untreated side. Both sets of tests were planted with approximately 33,000 seeds plant population. This flyer was produced by the company, not by Biominerals. At the end of the season, the test results were that the treated fields had an average of 31,000 surviving plants per acre, 
with an average bushel of 254.88 bushels, ranging from a low of 243.25 to a high of 273.95. On the untreated fields, there was an average surviving population of 24,000 with an average yield of 217.34 bushel. The yields ranged with a low of 208.77 to a high of 227.06. As an average, there were 37.45 more bushels of corn produced on the treated side, and at $4.20 corn, this made an additional revenue per acre of $157.29. I'm not exactly sure what the seed company sold the program at, but current prices for this type of seed treatment is well under $10 per acre. Section 5 Summary Biominerals Technologies has a proprietary seed treatment product. It results in faster germination of the seed. There is better survivability. It produces a stronger seedling and they grow faster. The plants are healthier and the seed treatment has proven to increase yield and quality. The seed treatment works on almost all kinds of seeds and crops. Having earlier mycorrhizal colonization of the seedling root greatly increases the nutrient uptake, resulting in faster growth, a healthier plant, and a much higher yield.